I can tell you about Togedy himself, who was a little short guy, about five feet tall. He was probably a sheep eater. I didn't realize he was that small. He used to wander through as an old man alone in the early 20th century. Stopped to see my grandmother, who lived up on East Fork, which is where the Duncan settled. And I think he sort of came along to have a look at her because she was five foot eight and blonde. So whenever he came in, he'd sit down and point at whatever he thought he'd like to eat, and the kids sort of clustered around and hid behind my grandmother's skirts. Yeah. He apparently came, oh, once every two, three years. Really? Yeah. And that was Togedy. Both sides of my family came into Wyoming during the 19th century. My mother came in, to, well, my mother's family came into northeast Wyoming around Devil's Tower at Sundance, but my father's family came into the area known as East Fork, which by road is about 25 miles northeast of Dubois, and uh, purchased squatter's right from a guy by the name of Ellis Adams. And of course, like, when you ever have, when you have a group that comes in from someplace, a minority group in particular, uh, when one person comes in, you have a number of other people from the same group, maybe previous acquaintances, that come in just, just like they do in an urban ghetto. So there were a lot of Scots that came in up East Fork, so many that it became known as Little Scotland. Uh, my father, who was born up there in 1906, by the way, never stepped foot out of the country until he was in his 40s, and yet uh, spoke with a modified Scots accent all his life because that's what they spoke up in that neck of the woods. So uh, there's only one, one second cousin up there, close to the original place anymore, and that's the uh, Duncan Finley Ranch, which was recently designated a, a uh, centennial ranch, as we, having been in the same family for uh, 100 years or more. And that's the Open A Cross. Drive the Togedy train, it's the road that's really a trip.